We're here today at the Oval for Active London. Active London is an event that brings together a raft of people from across London who are involved in physical activity, sport, and with a, an overall goal of decreasing the levels of inactivity across London. London Sport has a terrific event. It's got a lot of different interests together. It's the way we get things done. We work beyond the normal health dimensions, the normal health tribe. And we've got some opportunities here today through those with access to technology, those who are working on better food offers, those who are working on getting people more active. If we all work together with our colleagues in health, we will definitely make progress. Coming to Active London is a huge benefit for us because it engages us not just with the sports community but it engages us with the governmental institutions as well. There's a broader conversation that needs to be had across many of the institutions that are trying to bring new ways of thinking not just within sport but also within mental health and I believe that Active London is one of the key entities that can allow us to do that conversation within London but also within the rest of the UK. Events like Active London are important to give people the opportunity to take a step out of their day job and to take stock, to take on board some new ideas, to meet people that they might not necessarily meet on a day-to-day -day basis basically to reboot, to find different ways of attacking some really big challenges that we have within the city. The key takeaway for the day has been hearing about some of the really interesting programmes that are happening across London to um, get people involved in physical activity in a, a really uh, diverse and innovative way. A friendly, relaxed group of like-minded people from organisations and agencies and academia, uh, but lots of delivery people from all over London and a very nice mixture of education with opportunities for question and answer, a bit of participation, as well as uh, breakout conversations most people coming along are probably going to find one or two things that are going to be really helpful for them. If you shared that theme, that goal and that objective like London Sport have, then it's a fantastic place to be. Not only location, but the people that are here. Um, there's just an amazing sharing of knowledge. We can listen together to some great new ideas from some really inspiring people like Samuel Gray, like Dr Yvonne Doyle, who bring different thinking and we experience that together. Now how do we tackle inactivity? Or oh, we tell people what to do. We tell them they're lazy or they should move. Well, we do need to give people information. Knowledge is the enemy of disease. It's giving knowledge is the elixir of life. The way we are going to really address the challenges that we have uh, with us at the moment in this area is to work with those that we interact with on a daily basis, uh, such as your energy companies, such as your architects, such as your FMCGs. How do we work with them to essentially integrate a philosophy to enhance health and well-being? And, and one of those methodologies might well be through our uh, partners that we have here today and our attendees. For an organisation like London Sport, we're in a very fortunate position that we're exposed to a lot of these new ideas and it's a real privilege to be able to bring that thinking to a group of people that can be inspired by it and can really benefit from it in their day-to-day -day work.